Hi everyone, this is Bikyo. Alright, today I'm going to do a new setup on my home lab, um, which I actually um, have some new white boxes which I posted earlier. Alright, and um, I actually came about to my installation of vCenter, and um, to do that, I need to prepare for my database. And here I'm actually using an SQL 2008 R2 standard edition um, of SQL Server. And um, if you are referring to the vSphere installation um, and setup guide for vSphere 5, and um, under configuring your Microsoft SQL Server database, which is on page 172, um, here you can actually see that um, under your installation CD, there is actually a script which you can run. There are two methods of preparing your database. One is actually to run this script. All right. The next one is actually to manually do it. Um, I tried manually doing it, and I'm just going to show you um, the outcome of it. It took me quite a while and uh, troubleshooting and stuff like that. And because I'm not a really a database administrator, I'm not really good at uh, queries and stuff. Uh, so it took me quite a while to understand it. Okay, first and foremost, uh, let's let's go to the package. Under the D drive where my CD is, the, um, under vCenter server and DB schema, which is stated inside the installation guide. Let's just have a look. Alright, you have to go to the installation directory, which is my CD, and uh, because it's vCenter, so it will be vCenter. You can skip this VPX because it's, um, it's not actually in the setting all right so let's just take a look on this okay it's actually basically v center server straight away db schema and here you will see this script db schema creation script and this is the script and here you will have to label everything um, change whatever you want like your file name and stuff um, most probably you have it in d drive program files or perhaps any um, customized folders and good note of the login name um, which you're going to create your SQL uh, user which you will be using it for your uh, DSN connections and as well as uh, for the user to access the da um, VC database and by default the script is using VPX user you can leave this as the default or you can actually change it and uh, the password is here and uh, default database is actually the vcdb and of course you can change the database name if you want to um, just know that you have to change all this related um, in here it's not too variable so you have to amend this this script is from top to bottom it has many things what it actually does is that um, Let's just go back to the installation guide. Alright, this is only a subscript. Please, uh, do this is only halfway through. You have to use uh, the one that I just shown you. Okay, uh, if you want to do it manually, you have to create a database. You have to create your own schema and um, assign this uh, new schema to the user. Um, of course, uh, the user you can change and. Um, and you have to create roles, uh, grant privileges, and stuff. I managed to go all the way here until here. You might have a problem because here you no longer can use the SQL Management Studio to do it. You, in fact, really have to rely on the script. And I'm just going to show you uh, some of the manual steps that I've done. Alright, and I really encourage you to use the script. Uh, Okay, let me just show you what I've done here. I've actually created the database. Alright, and... Um, okay, and uh, I also created uh, my user, which in this case I call it vCenter to show you that I actually did a customization. And um, removing of the uh, policies, uh, and roles I'm actually a public um in the the, the new few features in um vSphere five is that you no longer need to grant the DBO um uh, rights to the 
account a SQL user that you are actually creating and um, I did not touch on any of this I basically just go through uh, what I need to do so I'm just gonna show you uh, to create a schema you go to security and under security you do see schema there alright and this is what I created a schema and um, VMW yep alright and you have to create certain permission um, alright just to show you uh, you are being tasked to do some roles under DB uh, vCenter DB um, they are admin role and user role okay and you have to uh, set certain functions on it alright granting certain uh, references uh, permissions and stuff it's too confusing um, in fact I have to do a few Googles and read some help just to get this done and the last portion where you have to do this one alright I have referred to Microsoft website um, it's actually asking you um, let me just go back to the menu just to show you what I mean here yes this portion is actually asking you to go to the MSDB in fact it doesn't matter is it MSDB or any database to go to the stop procedures okay and run the execute command to this VC admin role so what happened to this VC admin role let me just have a look at this just show you alright we are supposed to go to programming mobility and under stop procedure stop right and you are able to actually these are all the stop procedure and that after right click there's actually no permissions I can just show you the page that uh, I came across all right okay here you go it's actually on server 2008 R2 SQL Server 2 and R2 and it's actually telling me um, how to grant permission before I was doing this it was showing me to go to to actually right click and choose properties and I have just shown you there's no properties and after all the steps they actually shown you there's this note you cannot use SQL management studio to grant permission for the stop procedure so you have to use the commands so this is the command alright and I'm just gonna show you the command that I extracted from here basically what I did was that I just copied all this out and I assigned it to MSDB I copied all this I pasted in I ran it and was done and my installation for my vCenter after keying the password for the database user to connect the DSN was successful. Alright, several DOS prompts will come out. My previous actually encountered a lot of errors and I couldn't get past to this page. So here you are, um, you can see that I'm using system account. Let's just go through every of this. Okay, um, I'm just going to leave everything as default just to go through this installation. Alright, I'm not going to have a lot of holes. Okay, select this if you want to increase the number of email ports available. If your vCenter server manage holes, which will be power more than 2000 VM. I don't have that, so let's just click and stop. So I'm getting a lot of uh, messages regarding the full recovery on the, of the database. Uh, what I can do is we can actually change it to simplified. So while this is installing, we can just take a look further on what we need to do next. Okay, here is what it states. After you grant this permission, which I did already, um, what we need is to grant the VC admin role, which I created inside MSDB, to uh, my vCenter account, which in 
this guide everything was pbx user but however here it wrote bc admin do know that this is actually pbx user okay and you can connect to your database using your pbx user install and then after that you can devote the bc admin role from the vpx user for db center database which means you don't revote the one in msdn you only revote the one in um, vc database which because we created two roles one was actually vc user role the other one was a vc admin role all right and before you revote make sure that you have installed your uh, update manager all right do your update manager first before you revote because you will need this again all right so all right that's it uh, on my side and do drop me a note if you have any more inquiries regarding uh, this installation of the SQL server meanwhile we'll go to make sure that um, I did finish install the vCenter. Let's just finish this installation. Okay, and we are done. So I've managed to install my vCenter successfully. And just going to do a VMware vSphere client to make sure that I can actually lock it in. And we are done. Let's just make sure we can lock in. I have actually fast forward certain portion of this video because it's taking a bit too long just to run this. And yes, we are in. Okay, that's all um, for this uh, vCenter database setup. Alright, thank you.